our work or studies. We sometimes come across the need to create courses. However, oh, crafting no. presentations is a time-consuming and intricate task. Here is a handy software called iSpring Suite that can make your production easier. With it, you can easily create a course, record narration, put together a quiz, and publish the course online, even with no experience in e-learning development. Today, I will guide you through a case study using this software. I am running iSpring, SuiteMax, and Microsoft 365 on a Windows platform. I have already downloaded and installed iSpring Suite on my computer. By double-clicking the shortcut, you will enter the Quick Start interface, where you can find a navigation panel on the left for creating various types of content. As a novice, it's natural to feel a bit uneasy when working with new software. Click on the official user guide to access concise and practical usage information. This guide will walk you through creating quizzes, adding interactions, and other functionalities. Today, I'm going to create a course as a case study to demonstrate the features of iSpring. Click on Create. You might be wondering why PowerPoint is opening. This is because iSpring functions as a plugin similar to PowerPoint. So, if you know PowerPoint, you know how to use iSpring. It's already neatly organized, making it easy to find the functions we need. Let's start by exploring the Content Library feature, where you can directly access content resources for PowerPoint production. It offers a diverse range of slide templates to cater to various needs. Once you've selected a theme, you can choose different content templates in the New Slide option for easy customization, significantly reducing our workload. You can also enrich slides by adding character assets. The variety of materials available here is truly comprehensive, enabling us to make distinct changes for different scenarios. Moreover, we can enhance our course presentation by incorporating backgrounds, objects, and icons. Next, let's delve into creating a new quiz. Upon clicking, a new quiz interface will appear. Similarly, if you're unfamiliar with its usage, you can refer to the comprehensive video tutorials to guide you through the creation process step by step. Each quiz type is accompanied by a course introduction. For this demonstration, I plan to develop a graded quiz. Begin by adding an intro slide under the introduction section. Customize the quiz name. Navigate to slide view. You'll see that an introductory page has been automatically generated. Moving on, access the question section. You'll find a wide array of question types to choose from, covering all commonly used formats. Add a multiple choice question. In the form view, you can edit the question and options. Here, I'll input a sample question. In the slide view, you'll see that iSpring has created a question page. Next, I'll introduce a matching question. Enter the pre-prepared question. Fill in the corresponding content in the item and match sections. Our test questions are now prepared. Click on the preview option in the menu. This will generate a preview of the questions. You can preview how our questions appear on various digital devices. You can even simulate and submit real answering scenarios directly which adds an element of fun. Once the preview is complete, click on the Save and Return button in the menu to return to the original PowerPoint. You'll notice a quiz page has been added to the PowerPoint, but not all questions are displayed. To view the complete answering interface, you'll need to click on Preview or Publish shortly. Let's move on to exploring the interaction feature. Create a new page and click on the Interaction button in the menu. You'll notice that the software comes with a variety of interaction types. As you hover over the icons, descriptions will appear to help you understand the functionality of each interaction. Add a labeled graphic interaction, which allows you to place multiple labels on your images. I'll demonstrate using a pre-existing example. Different fruits and vegetables have been labeled here. You can edit the names and content of these labels. You can add more labels, easily move them to specific positions on the image, making it a breeze to work with. Once you're done adding them, click on Preview. You'll see an engaging interactive effect come to life, enhancing the overall course experience. Save your work and return to the original PowerPoint slide. Let's now explore another incredibly useful feature, screen recording. Often, we need to download additional software to accomplish this task. However, iSpring includes this functionality, 
making it convenient for us to utilize screen recording. After clicking on Recording, you'll need to set the recording target and area. Hit the Record button to initiate the screen recording process. Once the recording is finished, you'll be taken to a video editing interface. Here, you can add audio or subtitles to the video, offering a highly practical feature. After saving your edits, the video will appear as a new slide in your PowerPoint presentation. Once all the content is created, clicking on Preview allows us to see the final product. Given the amount of content we've generated, the preview may take a bit of time to load. You'll notice that our content has been transformed into a highly interactive course format. Within this, we can engage with the content, test out quiz features, interact using labels, and view instructional videos. These functionalities can all be seamlessly integrated into PowerPoint using iSpring software, making it incredibly convenient. After previewing, we can proceed to publish our content. There are various options available. We can export it to our computer, import it into other iSpring products, or export it as a video to YouTube. Additionally, we can import the entire project into the cloud for easy collaboration with others and for public preview. This is the interface of my iSpring cloud. A few days ago, I uploaded a course that I created. Within the cloud, I can preview this course, collaborate with other authors, and share this coursework publicly. By clicking on share, copying the link, and previewing the final course effect, we can see the outcome. Welcome to the shortcut quiz. Test your knowledge of time-saving object layout shortcuts. Let's dive in. ready to master PowerPoint object layout shortcuts and test your skills with quizzes in this course. Let's begin! Overall, the user experience is excellent. In conclusion, for individuals with a need to create online courses, iSpring serves as an incredibly effective tool. It enables easy course creation, narration recording, quiz compilation, and online course publication even for those without prior e-learning development experience. I trust that this sharing session has been beneficial to you. Follow my channel for more interesting content.